I saw that new Saw movie. I saw. Um, oh God, that was horrible. It was horrible, but there's Fuck another the Chris Rock one. Yeah, dude, that might have been one of the worst ones. There's another, and I was really championing it for oh, to being good. It was like, hor- He was horrible, dude. Fuck. He was so shitty in it. Are we? Uh, there was another. It's recording, but I mean. Oh, okay, cool. There's always at it. Hey, yo, gory boys, man, man, get up man. off that punk smooth shit, shit. Give us shit. that rough corpse in the bathtub shit. shit. You know how we do, do. <laughs> Have such sights to show you. It's not a bad question, Bert. Don't fall asleep. I'm my number one fan. I was gonna ask, like, what have you guys watched lately? And that's one of them that I watched. Me and Heather sat there. We went and watched it. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus oh. Lord, like how like it got. I was, we were both sitting there championing yeah. like this thing to be good. Because, you know, those those movies, the one thing they got good going for them is you're like, all right, what's the device? Yeah. What's the uh, play here, you know, that that, uh, that we have to do in order to survive, which no one ever survives. And, God, it was just, it was too much, dude. It was too much. And it really, I love Chris Rock so much, dude. And I was just like, oh, God, he kind of ruined the movie for me. Yeah. What's 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 new on the chopping block? Oh. I really I haven't watched yet personally. Like nothing horror related. But what horror related have you watched? Oh, Willy's Wonderland. So I watched Willy's oh, Wonderland Nic- on it. Oh, Nicholas Cage. Yeah. You watched that? What? Oh, damn. It's funny. It's funny. And hilarious. What are we What are we looking at? Is this uh, sci-fi action? Well, horror, it's like comedy? Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. But all the animatronics come to life, and Nick Cage has on to kill them acid? all. acid? <laughs> okay. Well, that would be that's tripping. Uh, that's be the way you'd want to do it. Saying it? Yeah. That would be. Uh, <laughs> Did you see the trailer for his new one, Pig? I watched it last night. <laughs> he's a, he's a uh, co- he's like a legend in the corner scene that walks away to the mountains. Yeah, right? I'm gonna tell you. And he has his yeah, is it a horror? Deep, dude. I'm, I'm, I still want to really really see that. Looks so. kind of twisted. I've got I wanna, I've got I'm, I have it on. Okay, my... Okay, wait a minute. Let me. I have it on my thing to watch it. My quay. Okay, so give me so give me. Hold on a second. All right. So I just got back from my vacation, and yes. while while in Oregon, I did uh, very mm-hmm. little TV movie watching. Yeah. And I I haven't been to Oregon in a while, so there's a lot of stuff I had to do. Love Oregon. I also I also played host butler to my mom's high school friends. They had a little get together. <laughs> I did see a movie recently that was so beautiful that right after I had to sit down with a pad and pen. And wrote my impressions. It no was Pig. Shit. I'm telling you, dude. During oh, my childhood. I'm fucking jonesing to watch this now. During my childhood and throughout my early 20s, my family would visit a cabin that belonged to my mother's side. It was rustic. There was no TV. Distant neighbors. It was settled along the McKinsey River. And, of course, being a city boy, you have to excuse my low level of appreciation for this experience. Because it wasn't until, like, I transformed into the man that I am today that these experiences, like... You know, like I understood that this was more, I don't know, it felt more for my parents' experience. Like, right. Like I, being the way I was, they weren't having the experience that they should have had. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I began sitting up and listening to stories at the fireplace, playing cards with mom. I fished with dad, did yard work, right. fought with my sister all day just to, you know, night would fall and we'd sneak out and smoke cigarettes and tell ghost stories. But these feelings... Like they're they're still fresh because I was up in Oregon, but they yeah. rumbled back at the opening of Pig. No way. Yeah, because he's in the Oregon forest. Nostalgia. And, huh? Yeah, dude. And his house, it just reminds me of that cabin. Oh my and God. I don't want to discuss plots or scenes because I I want everyone to see this and experience uh, what I yeah, did. Yeah, I I want to watch nice. it. So God. it's it stars Nick Cage, but there's a kid Alex Wolf who I've never seen, but he he shines, dude. He's How really old? good. How young, old? young, like twenties, early twenties. He's oh, got to nice. be. I've never. I don't. Another guy in this fantastic cast, Alan Arkin. Oh who, shit, what? dude, who plays high expectation father better than yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like I won't give away big, anything. It's not else. a big cast, right? No, no. Yeah, because it, it seems Slim. from the trailer, that it's just an isolation. Yeah. It seems like a mental journey through this man's uh, or whatever. There's there's a scene. And the pig. There's a, the the <laughs> scene that slapped me the most. I think was where where a meal is prepared for someone. That recalls a bit of his past that was a, at a happier time. Genius. And That's I'll what tell food you, does. I blame Charlotte's Web for my love of pigs. Yeah. <laughs> I've also been around pig farms, and I know that they're loving and smart, and you know they serious experience the same kind of sh- feelings we do. You know. Right. But the credits rolled, and like you could have walked in and seen me sitting there, not turning the movie off, and you would have thought I was waiting for a Marvel credit stinger. But I was just listening to this beautiful version of "I'm on Fire" by by 
someone else, the Springsteen song, but it's like, you know, and I right. was happy. Right. Sick. Easy. That was actually like a really good uh, review right there. I might put that out somewhere. I like that. On one of my things. I like that. The it just, it's just the movie, dude. The movie brought that out of me, man. You know what? I, I'm glad you said this is because I watched the trailer and I was like, this either is going to be pretty amazing or it's going to be fucking just a fail. There's no in yeah. between. Because I, uh, when I saw the trailer, there were two parts that hit me. I was just like... Okay, clearly it's a man in isolation. What he loves his fucking pig, and then they then they show that like, oh, he's like this uh, chef genius that went into isolation, mm -hmm. and you know that because he goes back to try and find his pig through yeah. the trailer. You know this, mm -hmm. and it's his chef people going like, we haven't seen this. This is the god, you know, it's the yeah. legend. So that's interesting. That so he, he has a backstory. So he went there for a reason. Yeah. And so I'm sure that all unfolds. All plays through, out. All plays out. But I'm like, man, it just. The title's intriguing. The whole, uh, uh, how many plots is this? Like, uh, what was like in Keanu, the fucking movie? Yeah, they're like, the, the, I want my cat. Yeah. This is like, I want my pig. Yeah. Like, there's many movies that they have this narrative where it's like, you stole my, you know. There's there's certain people that are like, it's like, funny. What are you fucking the pig? But there's there's one there's one cool. Clearly, scene. it means something to him. Dude, Clearly, and, and if something you, important. And if you've owned an animal, you would know, you know what it really is. Yeah. But there's a really cool part, which I won't. It does. This doesn't give anything away. But there's a hillbilly, um, like a uh, neighbor. No, a, a truffle seller. She's like the one oh, yeah, that yeah. sells. They, truffles. No, they show that in there because the pig finds the truffles, yep. right? Yeah, the but pig has she, a, a nose for she, truffles. She's like the 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 back. The backwood like seller of this stuff so so mm, you get it so mm. give it to her she sells it on the market but she's like what do you guys want like get out of here when he starts investigating when fi when he finally says i'm looking for my pig she just turns it, her emotion just turns it's so rad dude she's just like watch the fucking register yeah. let's go and yeah, you're just yeah. like yeah sitting there like yes <laughs> like it was time to get shit well, done i dude. mean isn't that uh, i don't i've never heard of being pigs but it's usually a dog's right Pigs that are, sniff out the truffles. Well, pigs are really season. good. Yeah, pigs are actually like. But it's usually like dogs, and they like have can, these yeah. certain, like true fact, right? Like yes. they have these certain dogs that are trained. Yes. And the people pay high money to yep. have these fucking dogs. I didn't even dogs realize sniff that there was like, truffles in Oregon. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking truffles are kind of all over. Yeah, it, yeah, and it's a Not different type. Not necessarily all over, but you, yeah, yeah it's you got the right different the, type. I think it's the environment. Yeah, we the, know horror people. I'm not, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not culinary. Look at that. Direct TV has it, dude. But queasy. I am very happy you said that because. Yeah, I was gonna rent this. really on. I was like, "Oh, this yeah, he's looks like it's really good. Yeah, like, I, I want it to be good." Yes. Yeah. So, um, with uh, our beloved Nick Cage, who's looks like he is doing movies like Tupac Dude, at the end of his career. Bro, lately he's <laughs> so been he knocking it out the park. Money. Is this one acting this, wise? This was better than Another Mandy, and, and you guys know how much oh, I, I love, love Mandy. Mandy yeah, was great. Yeah. Mandy was the shit, dude. Twisted. All the, the colors out of the space, or that I, one. I saw that one. Oh, it's nuts. That one was an acid nuts, trip, dude. straight up Total. acid trip. Well, it is. What's his name? Um, it, Lovecraft. Lovecraft, yeah. yeah. It's a, uh, a straight up Lovecraft one. book. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so and I, kind I, of a remake, right? I can't say that anything lately has been shit. But no, but acting-wise, he did. Oh, on there's a scene, a scene in particular where he's at a restaurant with, with, with the guy that worked for him. Yeah. And I won't give anything away on that, but just that acting in that scene is fucking incredible. Academy dude. Award yes. winning? Yes. Ah, uh, say yes. no more. Unbelievable. I they'll, I'll, never, they'll never I'll give it to him, though. Yeah, my jaw was on the floor. I was just like, wow, dude. Just the shit he was saying and how he did it. It's all about, like, writing, but it's also right, all right, about right. how you put it through. And, well, it's how, yeah, it's how it's delivered. Yeah. Well, um, I'm the director, because, I mean... So yeah. where would you... He recently this was this in jiu-jitsu. You know? It's not horror. Psychological thriller. Where I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, drama. Straight thriller. drama. Drama thriller. thriller. Yeah. Oh. And, and okay, what Things other movies? Like, it's it's like it Green Room then where it's not a horror film, but it's just And nuts. there's way less violence than that. Crazy. But yeah, it's, it's... But now, what other movie do we love that had so many restaurant scenes in it? Shiny? Oh, no. No, shit. Uh, the, oh. Darcia? Oh, oh Psycho. American, American Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> I mean, it has nothing Albert to do with Scram. it, but I just, there is oh, a there scene. there some elements in there? There's a scene where oh, a woman standing table God. side describing a meal, and I was, oh. it just reminded me of the beginning of American <laughs> the Psycho. The menu's in Braille. Yeah. <laughs> Truffle-scented uh, 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 smoke. 
from uh, the uh, come it's on. classic. Dude. There's, it's so classic. There's times so classic. where we feel down and out and we'll yeah. watch that movie. The to album pick our sports up. It's yeah. one of his greatest accomplishments. <laughs> the, the, to me, that movie is more of a comedy than it is a horror movie. Even though it oh, is dude, a, it's a, the darkest the comedy ever. Cycle of cycle. It's yeah. it, it brings me joy. Yeah, yeah. That film brings me pure joy yeah. watching it. They they do uh, in American sorry to say and Reese track, Witherspoon the scene, is so great. The scene in American Psycho where he's in the the phone booth. Yeah, they Explaining. do the same fucking scene in Rules of Attraction. Who hmm. is his ne- his cousin? And uh, he has the same. It's the same same moment, dude. Yeah, another. Where good he movie. realizes he's fucking mad. Yeah, in yeah. The head, well, what are, how many? Can you guys quickly go through how many um, uh, songs? From the 80s, does he mm. mention before he kills people? Is it like three or four? Oh, wow. Yeah. I know he does Phil Huey Collins. Lewis in the news. He does Whitney Houston. Remember? Yeah. Was Phil. it the greatest love of all? Yeah, yeah. Good song. Man. And Holy she's all, you shit. listen to Whitney Houston? The, 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 but he describes it before yeah. murdering. Uh, Huey Lewis Beautiful. in the news. Which one was it? Sport. It was. Uh, no, no. Huey Lewis is something else, but he did. Yo, no, it was oh. Sport. Sport. Yeah. He did no, sport. but the song. Uh, the song was, um, fuck. It wasn't, uh, I need a new drug because he's no. talking about no, that. No, it's, I think it's the news or, um, no, See? the album was sport. Yeah. But the song was um fuck. It's too hip to be square. Yeah, there too hip it to is. be square. Yeah. Ben, ben, yeah. Ben, ben, ben. <laughs> What else? Childhood and then right I know there. Phil, Collins. Phil Collins. Which one? Well, also and side he was note, describing Je- which side Genesis. Song? Which song though? Uh, I can't remember. Cuz it's like cuz he had three big murders. Mm-hmm. I think it was three songs. And what yeah. what made me laugh the most was that he picked Whitney Houston yes. as the greatest of all. Wonderful. Life, which is an outstanding uh, track. Hey, nah, what's Halberstram, what's dude? What's, Hal- yeah, Halberstram. Yeah. Jared Leto's the shit oh in my that, God, dude. Yeah. Bro, when Leto's he geez. leaves the meeting after the card, yeah. the, the coming oh of the cards, God. where he butts up, he's on no Bone can do. Ivory. Got an 830 <sighs> residue. He's like sweating because he's so jealous. He's the all, card like, scene, yeah. Know, remember? <laughs> he's all, let me see Paul Allen's card yeah. again. And he's like, and then he oh just starts coming in his pants. Panic attack. He starts sweating. He's all, oh. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. It brings and me so much joy. Shell. It is the most humorous. Yeah, great. Anyway, yeah. He's great, doing crunches to Texas we're, Chainsaw dude, We're going to do a session uh, ca- uh, podcast just about that movie. Yeah, got to. I mean, Seems like we're doing fuck, it now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, all right.